buckle up everybody because today is going to be a long one, a doozy, because we are looking at every single website on the internet. Not really, but we're looking at some of the coolest ones that I found. There's about 30 of them, I think. So we're gonna have a look through each of them. Some will be for 10 seconds, some will be for two minutes. But all in all, this should be a very long, fun video. So get your popcorn, buckle up. I think I said that already. And here we go. All right, Mario fans, we're playing Jelly Mario Bros. Use the arrow key and I have to get to the mushroom to start. My guy is already dead. So let's restart this. Blow him up, I guess. So use the arrow keys to move. Probably gonna take a bit for me to understand how to do this. Here we go, we're beginning. I actually don't know how to move him. Like... How... It... How do I move him? Why is the entire map... Oh, I'm just gonna blow him up. All right, can I beat the first level? Like, I don't understand what is happening here. Like, how do I get him... How do I get him to go up? He's not going up, he's just going down. All I'm doing is holding... All right, so let's just hold up. If I hold up, does he go up? I think that'll be useful data for us. Okay, he does. Why is the whole map glitching? Am I doing something wrong? I feel like I am. All right, my goal is to just at least get to um, the mystery box. And if I do that, then I'll feel pretty satisfied. Dun -dun 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 -dun. I can't hear the music. It's probably copyright right now. Maybe we put in our own music. Come on, get it, get it, get it. Blow up. And it did nothing. All right, I'm kind of over this game. This is one of the worst games I've ever played in my life. Now we have paint what the... What do I have to do? Draw an upside down dinosaur. Um, what dinosaur do I want to draw? Let's draw a T-Rex. Upside down? Use your imagination here. Though I don't think you need to because what I just drew is a uh, T-Rex upside down. Give me a score, one to 10. I bet you'll give me a nine and a half. Who wouldn't? Turn your heads. You're gonna see that that's one of the best T-Rexes out there. I was ranked 42,000 out of 45,000 submissions. Let me try this once more. Choose another prompt. Let's go um, best drawings of an explosion. That is very well done. So that's the number one of an exploding pig. Okay. So a pig looks just like this. And of course I'll make him pink because I really want to excel here. There's his little snout. Um, as any pig, they're round and they have their squiggly wiggly tail. They have their stumps and their hooves. Um, all right. So maybe we won't be changing his color because I don't know how to do that. But what we are going to do is make him exploding. My guess here, if there's 45,000 submissions, I would say 15,000. 6,000, all right, wait, let me see if I could beat this. I'm gonna try once more. Uh, a bumblebee that loves capitalism. This is a fantastic submission. So there's 11,000. So the goal is again the top thousand. So a bumblebee, what does a bumblebee look like? It's just like black and yellow stripes. What a, it looks like a lollipop, like I'm drawing like a Tootsie Pop. Okay, I think they look like this. Looks like one of those roly polies. Um, they have eyes and they fly. They're kind of cute bumblebees. Um, and then I'm gonna do some dollars, right? Right here, bada bing, bada boom, cha ching. Owning the means of production. So he's going to be clocking in. So let's draw like a little like timestamp where it's like da 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 An American flag because Americans and I'll put a heart in the in the middle. Uh, Americans love capitalism. Well, most of us, I know a lot of people, maybe you're watching this, you're a communist. And what do I say to that? I don't really care because I'm kind of apathetic towards everything. That's just like my position on life. This is the love story between a bee, its country and capitalism. Top thousand, top thousand, top thousand, top thousand, top thousand. You have to be kidding me. I don't understand what I could have done better here. You know what? I'm done with this game. All right, so this is VO code. This is basically what everybody uses to turn their text to speech. But apparently you have to sign up and view pricing. I mean, I guess I'll look at your pricing. I am not paying $7 a month to hear like a fake Donald Trump playing Minecraft with Barack Obama and Joe Biden. Let's move on. Thumbnail game, and if this is what I think it's going to be, I'm definitely not signing up or anything like that. Which video has more views? So based on the thumbnail alone, our craziest ever bonus, so it's some guy gambling, or doing Lil Nas X makeup, James Charles and Lil Nas X. Well, it depends if it was pre or post his cancellation, but I think it's pre because he's collabing with Lil Nas, so let's go to the right. Oh my gosh, 15.8 million views. Imagine getting that many views on a video. That's crazy. Uh, we'll do it till I lose. 
Lego Minecraft Zombie Hunter Speed Builds. Why do I feel like this has like 30 million? Okay, but then there's Ego Minecraft Speed Build. So they're both stop motions. One looks more specific to like Halloween. So I think it's more like seasonal. So I doubt there was like an outsize of views. So I'm gonna go ahead and say this one. Does that mean I got it wrong? Wait, all right, let me try once more. Korea Vlog, which probably has like 20,000 or Dixie D'Amelio, one of the greatest artists of our generation, the music video for Roommates. Okay, and I'd be right. Though that's a really good view count for a vlog. Next up, we have our Nashville home tour. Don't know who that is. Looks like that girl from TikTok. Daisy something, I think. Or business viability. Definitely the home tour. All right. I wonder if I'll see myself on here. Pairing, which I have no idea what that could mean. Or moral relativism. Ethics defined. Definitely that. Where are they finding these videos? Reviewing the new methods inside the real world for Andrew Tate's Hustler University. Or Blippy. It's got to be Blippy. How to make spaghetti with homemade meat sauce or Old Town Road Live. Okay, definitely that. Why the Island Boys career died so quickly. This is definitely Sunny V2. Or Island Boys dropped 50K at the mall. Definitely Sunny V2. Baby Monitor SNL or slightly offensive memes. Oh, this is Jakerton. Shout out to Jakerton. He's one of my buddies. I don't know how this video did for him, but I'm guessing he's not going to beat Selena Gomez. Sorry, Jake. It's close though. Very good video by Jake. College decision reactions. Hey, I went here or Kendrick Lamar's savior, but it's the interlude, which nobody really cares about. So I think it might be this one. Nope, let's go music. All right, good choice there, 2.3. Emo Friday live service. All right, so we have a sermon from a priest or FTX collapse, gotta be CoffeeZilla. Gotta be, oh, not even 800 views. I hope you could reach your thousand view mark soon. Utopia, which is some classic comedy film of Finale, Laurel, and Hardy or Neon Lights, Heart Tunnel Background. It's definitely gonna be this. Yeah, for some reason, people just like love those backgrounds. Watch Mojo, t top 20 worst superhero castings or the Internet Mysteries Iceberg Explained. It's got to be Watch Mojo. No. Oh, my gosh. OK, I right, got 11. So pretty good there. OK, so now we have a geek prank. H hacker typer simulator automate. OK, so it looks like I'm a hacker. Do I look like a hacker right now? The goal is to look like a hacker. This is apparently, if you guys, if anybody out there is a hacker, this is what your screen looks like. You have a neural network tracing Bitcoin miner. So I'm basically using all the electricity to mine Bitcoin. Don't know why you do that because that price is certainly going down. I love how they still have the advertisement there. Like it's inevitable. Okay. Can't get out of that. Let's get out of the Bitcoin. Let's move this over here. Let's full screen this for the second. We see somebody about to rob a bank. All right, so this is called Find the Invisible Cow. Make sure to turn on your audio. You know what? I will turn on my audio just for this game. Start game. Cow, 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 yeah, I could only find a cat. I thought there were gonna be like more options. So it gets louder when I get closer to the cow. Move. Okay, I can only do so much of that game, so I'm done with the finding the cow. All right, next up we have City Guesser. So while I have the volume going, we might as well play this. I used to play this a lot, and I loved it. A little loud for me. So basically what you do is you try to figure out where you are. So that looks like maybe Berlin or something. Looks like a Bradenburg Gate. I think that's what it's called. Probably not though. Probably like Paris, Swarovski, White Seraph. No, maybe it is Germany. Could I be right? But it's cool because you like listen to the people around you. Okay, I'm wrong. It's in Switzerland. Pretty close. Same thing, right? Basically the same kind of people. So it would be like on... The border, I guess, maybe like somewhere, maybe Zurich. Okay, wow, that was really close. Maybe I should get back into it. The only thing is you can't like pan the camera. So I'm just like beholden to what I see. Off rip, I mean, this is like some really beautiful water. Probably gonna be like some resort in like the Caribbean, I'd guess. A white person. I don't know. This is like screaming like Bahamas to me. Turks and Caicos, maybe somewhere out there. All right, let's go for it. Let's rip, uh, what'd I say, Turks? No, let's not go there. Let's go, what'd I say, Bahamas first? Oh, I don't know, maybe I'll get a little more information. Cars are driving on the right side, so it's probably US territory. I have no idea. I'm acting like I know what I'm doing. I no longer know what I'm doing. All right, let's just click like, 
How about we go... Do, 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 do. Let's go Antigua. No, it was... St. Petersburg has water that blue? Okay, Florida. This website is called Pointer Pointer. So wherever I put my pointer, I do nothing, and it shows a picture of that person pointing to the cursor. So as you can see, it's pretty interactive, and it understands this quite well. So now let's say I want to put it at the very bottom of the screen. There's no way they could find somebody pointing there, and they do. I don't know how they somehow do this. Technology is quite amazing, and I'm glad that we're using our resources to do this. But look, look, look at that guy right there. So right here, show me a point. It's just so accurate. I don't understand. So I'm in the very corner right there. And let's see. What do you know? Or right, well, that one's not that good, actually, because that point, you could argue, is like slightly aimed below my cursor. But nonetheless, pretty cool website. All right. Next up, we have the true size of. So this is basically um, a game or a website where I could show you a country and overlay it over another country so you can see how big it actually is because according to the Mercator projection, everything along the poles is stretched out. So Greenland, for instance, which I think is one of the most fascinating ones, you see it as this massive thing. But did you know it's actually that big? And if you put it on the equator, it's like the size of a third of Brazil. So big, not that big. Heard that before. United States, for instance, if it was where Greenland is, it would look like that, which is about the size of Russia, which is pretty scary because Russia is actually just that big. Like, look how massive Russia actually is. So if we put Russia on the equator, because Russia is the biggest in terms of size, it's still basically half the size of Africa. Antarctica, which we think is absolutely massive. Take a look at this, fellas. You see Antarctica and think, wow, I see Antarctica. And do you know what I think? I think Democratic Republic of Congo because that's essentially how big it is. Now, I mean, it's a little bit bigger, but look at the difference. This is probably blowing one person's mind right now, and that's the only reason I'm doing this for you. All right, so this one's called Little Alchemy. All right, so as you could see, I must have played this game once before. I don't remember a dang thing. How do I get, like, get rid of this? All right, so what you do here is you take the elements and you combine them. So it's like we're playing Minecraft. So what do you get when you combine water and fire? Steam. What do you get when you put steam on lava? I guess nothing, but let's take lava and put earth and that's a volcano. Okay, wait, volcano and then water does nothing. Volcano and lava does nothing. Lava and water makes obsidian. That's that Minecraft thing, right? And then what goes with obsidian? So let's combine air. Oh my gosh, wait, why do I feel like I'm Avatar? Like I'm just bending the elements to my will. Obsidian with obsidian, does that do anything? Do I get like two obsidian? What about water on obsidian? No. Cloud and earth is fog. Fog and obsidian does nothing. Does the fog mix with anything else? Unfortunately not. So what if I do air? Oh, I made the sky. Oh, I lost the sky. Okay, I made the sky again. Okay, so I could just have a bunch of skies. So I could duplicate it like that. Obsidian in the sky means nothing. Water in the sky means nothing. Steam in the sky. Fire in the sky is the sun? It is. So I have the sun. Now we can start to make plant life. Earth on sun. All right, how do I harness the sun for energy? Uh, so everything comes from air. Air does... Okay, there's dust. I could create New York City a couple weeks ago. I made more dust. There's nothing really to do with that, is there? I want to combine like fire with dust. And then we made gunpowder somehow. And then with this gunpowder, obsidian. I feel like I can make a gun right now. So if I put gunpowder on obsidian, it doesn't do anything. But what if I put lava? All right, you know what? I feel like an alchemist. I've done my job. All right, next up we have uh, Emupedia. And all this does is it changes the theme of my browser to one of these old Windows versions. So, I mean, I'm old enough to remember one of these because I'm quite the oldie, but let's do Windows 95. This is what it would look like. I remember this. I used to troubleshoot this all the time. I would call it like tech support or maybe it was like scammers in India or something. Oh my gosh, what is it showing me? Is this my, I like don't know if I want you guys to see what my uh, display looks like. Okay. Luckily for me, this, like, none of this is actually mine. These are all external websites. I thought you were about to see some stuff on here that I don't necessarily want you to see. Happy Tree Friends, I remember that. Minecraft single player, yeah, all this takes me to, like, external websites, which I'm definitely not trying to do that. So, there you have it. Next up is yarn.co. So, this is interesting because you... Like, think of, you guys, it's not interactive like that, I guess. It's hard for you to live interact with me. But think of, like, a phrase from a TV show. So, like, yes, I am your father, right? I am your father. Click enter. And then look at this. 
It's every instance in a TV or movie that has I am your father as dialogue. Isn't that incredible? So let's see if somebody's ever uttered the word Sambucha. No, okay, so the market is prime. There's an opportunity for somebody to really capitalize on the Sambucha. Now let's see if somebody's mentioned like, I make YouTube videos. Somebody's gotta say that. Okay, so there's YouTube, but nothing specific around I make YouTube videos. Yeah, it's a pretty cool site, right? So you can browse around this, have some fun. It's called yarn.co. All right, so now we have Google Feud. I'm sure you guys have seen this before. It's a website that is basically family feud, but it's for Google. All right, do cats. So for instance, do cats purr? No, do cats eat? Do cats love? And I lost. Okay, let's try once more. Benjamin, all right, Benjamin Button. Benjamin Franklin. Benjamin Harrison, nobody cares about him, right? Okay, Benjamin, um, I don't know, Benjamin, who's another Benjamin? I have no idea. Benjamin Kelvin, Benjamin, Benjamin, I can't even speak anymore. I don't know, Benjamin who? Benjamin Benjamin, is that a person? No. How am I supposed to know this? Give up, Benjamin Moore, whoever that is. So I literally failed, let's do this once more. Easy mode, Lady Gaga's meet, the dress. Lady Gaga's song, songs. Lady Gaga's net worth, people love looking up, right? Lady Gaga's house, people are always like uh, looking into that stuff. Lady Gaga's boyfriend or husband or whatever. Lady Gaga's um, face, and that was it, okay. Why do soccer players wear jerseys? Why do soccer players wear cleats? Why do soccer players wear emotions on their sleeve? Because they're all, oh, wow, okay. I was kind of like joking there. Why do soccer players wear symbols on their uniforms? Why do soccer players wear clothes? Maybe there's some frisky people out there. So that's Google Feud, fun game, right? All right, next up is the office stare machine. So you apparently type in any emotion and it will prompt uh, something from the office that shows that emotion. So let's say sad. I want sad stares. There's a sad stare from what's his name? Like Darren, right? There's another one from some other guy. Okay. Now let's do like something curious. I want curious stares. A curious stare looks like that. Okay. Pretty cool. This website is called UFO Sightings. So every instance of a UFO sighting is recorded on this website. So for instance, there was one recently in St. Paul, Minnesota, and it tells you some of the summary of it. So a dot that flash colors. So let's see what we can do. So I live in New Jersey, right? So let's try that. New Jersey, multiple matches found. Let's go to, I don't know, let's go here. All right, so there's actually been a good amount of sightings. I look, I think I saw a UFO and that was, I mean, that was last year. Bright orange glowing orb shoots extremely fast just above tree line, then turns bright red and disappears. I observed an object in the sky. The craziest thing about UFOs is so many people have claimed to see one, but we don't have like more than maybe five to 10 pieces of real evidence, at least publicly available to confirm these sightings. The last year, for instance, there was 4,000 sightings. All time, my head cam's blocking it, there's been 211,000 sightings. Yet for some reason, there's less than 10 hard evidences of it. So what does that tell me? Well, basically, one, they're either not real, or two, we have to get better surveillance equipment. All right, so this is auto draw. So I draw something, and then this website tries to draw it better than me. So it like predicts what I'm drawing. So if I do, for instance, a smiley face, great circle, by the way, Bam, bam, okay. So up top, you'll see that they think that I'm drawing a smiley face and it corrects it to that, right? Um, I could also, how do I like, restart this? Start over. Let's say I wanna draw a house. Bam, bam, bam. And I could correct it to that. So that's kind of cool. Can I import this or export this? Let's do something really sophisticated. So let's say I wanna draw like, uh, got nothing fascinating in my room. Let's do like a Stanley cup, like the thing, like the water bottle thing. Bam. Right, there's a cup. I don't think I see it on here. Um, wait, is this it? I guess it's close enough. I think that's it, or maybe that's a toothpaste container. Let me draw like an animal, like a, an axolotl. You guys know what that is? Let's see if they can get that. 
I, okay, well, to be fair to them, I definitely, like, messed that up. But it looks like this, like a little, like, salamander thingy. What do they think I'm drawing? They think I'm drawing a house, which is kind of offensive. I do not see an axolotl. I do see a frog, which is pretty close, so I'll give them benefit of the doubt. Not bad. All right, so this is similar to the other site. It's called Play Phrase. So, for instance, I've never met anyone, and this is everybody ever saying I've never met anyone. And it's just like a really nice, easy compilation. So now let's say like um, Morbius, because I've never seen that movie. But this is every time they say the word Morbius in any movie. It could be any movie. So apparently they only say it eight times in the movie Morbius, which is kind of disappointing because the movie's called Morbius. Once again, let's see if anybody's ever uttered the words Sambucha. Okay, let's move on. All right, so now it's time to track sea animals. So you can apparently like watch where these animals are. So let's track this shark. There's Siona, and this is where Siona has traveled. I guess they have something on her. I want. I thought it was gonna be like a live stream, like you're able to basically like dash cam like on actual sharks. But let's go back, and I want to follow Simon the Great White. Oh, he is really getting close to uh, to me. He's in this like Long Island, New New Jersey, New York area. He just goes up and down. It's kind of interesting how like far they actually travel. Like he swam. The Imagine swimming like the length of a state, let alone like eight states. Animals are impressive. This is called More or Less, and basically there's multiple game modes, and so the goal of this is basically like higher or lower, like we played the thumbnail game before. So is France bigger or smaller than Egypt? That is a great question. I think it's slightly bigger, and I'm wrong. I don't know anything. I really don't know anything. Burundi or Kyrgyzstan? Kyrgyzstan's bigger. All right, let's get at least 10. Eritrea is smaller. Okay, Bhutan is smaller. Uh, Bosnia is bigger. Okay. Taiwan is smaller. Cool. Saudi's bigger, much bigger. Costa Rica is smaller, much smaller. Tajikistan's bigger, much bigger. Cuba is smaller. Okay, that was a close one. Turkmenistan's bigger. All right, so we got 10. That was my goal. Gabon is smaller. Benin is smaller. Mexico is bigger. Papua New Guinea is smaller. Morocco is smaller. And I'm wrong. So that is 14. Okay, that's not bad. They also have population by country. So the DR of Congo versus Somalia. I would say Somalia has less, and I'd be right. Syria has more, and I'd be right. That was close. Trinidad and Tobago has less, and I'd be right. North Macedonia probably has slightly more. It's Europe. Wow, okay, good. Cuba has obviously a lot more. 11 million. Palau has less. It's like probably one of the lowest populations. Mayotte, probably more. Yeah, it's close, but all right. Azerbaijan is definitely higher. Azerbaijan, Honduras, lower. Oh, that was so close. Why would they even do that? Sudan has way more. A lot of the African countries are pretty crowded. Malta has less, way less, not even a million people. Guinea Bissau has more. African countries a little more concentrated. Uganda has more. 48. Oman has less, significantly less, 5 million. El Salvador, let's go more. Okay, very close. Reunion, definitely less. French territory. Western Sahara, I'd say less. Okay, Djibouti, higher. It's pretty close though. There's a million. Turkey has way more. Turkey has 85 million. Brazil has a lot. 215. Maldives, lower. Kind of snapping right now. Georgia has higher. Not the state, the country. Samoa has less. Significantly less. Benin has more. That is a lot. Zimbabwe has a more. And it's close, and I was right. China has way more. They have the second most people, 1.5. Saudi has less. 27. Guinea has less. Good. That's 13.8. Botswana has more. And I'd be wrong. Okay. They also have Spotify monthly listeners. So Alan Walker has less than Harry Styles, though he has a lot. Ariana Grande has more. She has 82 million. Oh my gosh. Rudimental has less. Good for them, though. 8 million. X is dead, but he probably has more. Okay. Yeah, wow. 36 million. Azuna is Spanish, so he probably has more. All right. 48 million. MO, don't know who that is. She's pretty popular, I guess. Rihanna has more, of course. 77. Kendrick Lamar has less than Rihanna. Still a lot at 43. Liam Payne, way less. 
5.3. J Balvin has more. Is Liam Payne the least like notable member of One Direction? Cardi B has less than J Balvin. I don't know why I, th I thought so highly of her. All right, so now we have YouTubers, Snoop Dogg TV or Team Natch. Maybe I'll show up on this. He has more, right? Yep, a lot of musicians just have like a lot. PlayStation, I said less, they have more. Okay, let's try that once more. Uh, Kim Kardashian has less YouTube subscribers. Get your game up. Minecraft has more. 10.8, okay. Galen Hooks has less, don't know who that is. A4, probably more. Oh my gosh, who is that? 44.8, Will Smith Vivo has less. Okay, he's almost on a million. Seth Everman has more. That's the guy that made like that Billie Eilish thing. Kitchen Nightmares, less. Oh, Kitchen Nightmares is where they do like the uh, Gordon Ramsay stuff. I'm just gonna try once more to see if I'm on here. Allie A. Okay, I was already wrong. One more time. Um, okay, here we go. Vic Star less 7.6. Okay, J Lo more. She's got all her songs on there. Sniper Wolf more. 33 million. Tasty less, though still a lot. Jesus. Kylie less. Oh my God, she has she has a diamond play button. Ah, oh, all right, whatever. Now let's go net worth of people. Saito, rapper and actor, has more. And it's the same. Tom Cruise has way more. Tom Cruise is probably a billionaire. Gordon Ramsay has less. Significantly less. Bruce Darnell, don't know who that is, but he has less, and that is true. Amelia Clark has more because of Game of Thrones, and that'd be right. Scarlett Johansson has more because she's in, like, $5 billion movies. Paris Hilton has less. Apparently she has more. I don't believe that. And then IMDB ratings. So Pan's Labyrinth is probably higher, so I'd say less for The Hobbit. Cool. Pirates of the Caribbean probably has a higher rating, and it doesn't. All right, pretty fun. All right, so now we have guess the year. So there's going to be a famous event they show us, and then we have to guess what year it happened. And then depending on how far off you are from the actual date, that's how many lives they tack off. So the Titanic, when did the Titanic sink? I don't know. When was it? That was like the, that the 20s, like the 1928? 1912. Oh my gosh. So we lose 16 lives there. Prohibition is abolished. That was like shortly after, right? That was probably like the 1924? 1933, oh my gosh, they didn't drink at all in the 20s. Apollo 11, the first manned mission to the moon happens, I think that's like 1968, 69. Nice. Uh, the first high-speed rail is introduced in Tokyo. This is probably during their boom post-war. Like they really started to like clean things up in the 50s, maybe 52. 67, all right, kind of doing bad here. Suicide of Adolf Hitler was 1945, which marked the end of the war, kind of, right? Okay, good. First images of Earth are taken from space. I don't know, the 30s? 36? 46, so right after the war. Benito Mussolini begins his dictatorship. So Italian, fascist, let's go 33. 25, pretty early. Wow, he's been ruling for like 20 years at that point. Pearl Harbor's bombed. That, of course, is going to be... 38, 41, okay, I don't know anything. The vacuum cleaner, is, this is a great invention. I'd say the vacuum cleaner was invented before the war, because if we were able to create a nuke, I'm sure we were able to create a vacuum. So let's go 1931. 1901. And then I guess this is our last one, I guess, unless I do something crazy, but I'd say Hawaii was in the 70s. And it wasn't, 1959, shout out to Hawaii. This game basically shows us a color that is different than the rest and we have to find it. So pretty simple, let's see how far we can get. Don't have the best eyes, but they work. I think I'm definitely able to perform well in this test. Uh, all right, they kind of lost me. Maybe if I squint, does this help me at all? I don't think so. Uh, nothing is really speaking to me right now. Are you guys able to see the difference? It doesn't look like there's a difference here, even when I squint really tightly. Maybe this one? Wow, okay. This one for sure. 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 We got this. Uh, this one. This one. This one. That was easy. That one's very easy. Uh, I think it's that one. My eyes are kind of going crazy right now. This one, this one, I think it's this one, but let me keep looking. No, it's that one. Uh, why are they asking me my name? It feels like a trap. I'm going to say Sam. I'll let you. Okay, cool. All right. I got a high score of 28. 
All right, and then the final thing of the day is the Wikipedia game. I used to play this a lot, so it's kind of a throwback for me. This is a fun one. So basically, we have to go from one topic to another in a set amount of time. So in this case, we have 120 seconds to go from Maria Sharapova to fruit. Easy enough. All right, let's do this. So fruit. All right. Tennis. Like a tennis ball. Looks like a fruit. Bowls. Okay, that didn't help. Turf is close to grass, which is a plant. Plant. Seeds. Oh, fruits. I won. I came in first place. That's a big step up from where I was in the beginning for that drawing game. Anyways, that's the video. I hope you guys enjoyed. If you want to see more content, click here or click here. Otherwise, subscribe just like this guy did, and I'll see you next time. Peace.